Hello, this is Topaz with Voice to the Void, currently going to be checking out Broventure Time. Um, this is another TechEd server, so I am continuing my TechEd server tour. Uh, BVT dot servegame dot com, apparently. Um, seems like a pretty cool place. It has 50 slots. Um, seven people currently on. I'm running about midnight Eastern Standard Time. Whoa, I'm falling through the world, and it's raining. Okay. Less falling through the world, more raining. Okay. This is a very interesting server. Seems uh, that it wants to have a lot of different people. Right-click to begin your bro venture. Left. Right. Oh. Okay. Note, we are testing server stability. Rollbacks are possible for now. Uh, they seem relatively... Quick to it. I like the glowstone below here so much better than the lava. So much better than the lava. I do not like standing on top of lava. Okay. Okay, so I'm trapped in here to start off. Um, they do have a Twitter account. They have a bunch of different things. They seem to be wanting to uh, start off. Ooh, good. And I start with a bunch of the regular equipment. So sword, shovel, everything stone. Do I have anything else in my inventory? Before I right-click on this. Nope. Nothing else in my inventory. Right-click. Whoa! Where have I gone? Ah! So, if I don't agree to the rules, I suppose I can right-click that. I don't think I'm going to do that. Rules. Respect all staff members. Use correct channels whenever possible. Don't a uh, dare ask for game mode changes. Don't ask for application reviews. Staff applications are handled on our thread page. Um, no complaining about or insulting the server. Language kept at reasonable levels. If caught exploiting, all your data will be reset. X-ray hacking will be met with swift action. Don't ask to be a builder. We will announce if we need one. Read the info boards before asking for help. Spamming is not tolerated. Fighting, insulting, racism, bullying, not allowed. Uh, don't ask staff to buy your goods. And there's a little arrow and we mean it. Okay. You must accept Preventure Time's rules to continue. To accept rules, simply uh, click on the sign to the right. Note equivalent exchange is mostly banned on this server. I'm going to get into that shortly. Oh, okay. So I can't get through. Whoa! Very colorful here, but I like the color palette. It's not a very clashing palette or a rainbow palette. It's just a pretty standard one. Oop. Bronators. I'm going to assume those are donators. Brovakine, Rich King, and Hall of Fame. Remembered as the contributors. Uh, thank you for all of these people. Very nice. Oh, and now I have bread and steak. Do I have those before? I don't know. So I'm going to go through more of this. They do have a very bro theme and uh, adventure time theme and all of that type of stuff, uh, as you could probably tell by the name. So, oh, okay. So these are all the different ones. So Bronators, uh, $10 uh, monthly or OTP. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Maybe that's a one oh one time payment. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, you can use nicknames, teleport to different people, set up three homes. Uh, you get a buff for M uh, MCMMO. You can disguise as mobs, build at spawn, world guard region. Uh, you are added to the Hall of Fame, which I'll probably find somewhere around here. VIP slot, 100 or 1,000 daily experience, mob drop bonuses, private shop plot at uh, MP. Main plaza something. Um, access to chest below, which contains... Ooh. So it seems to be containing uh, a diamond drill, a uh, chainsaw, an alchemical bag, a talisman of repair, um, something... Oh, interdiction torches. Oh, I like interdiction torches. What's on the other side? Whoa, not used to Optifine. Okay, and then um, a electric tree tap, an electric hoe, and an electric wrench. Cool. That's a very nice one. 
So you get all those things below. That's a handy way of just saying, yeah, you get all that. Um, so you get all of that, I'm assuming, immediately. Uh, and then AFK mode with colored signs. Oop, let me hop up here. Oop, somebody in, like, quantum armor or something over there. These are enchanted to level 50. Something like that. Oh, okay. So... Now, if you go for Brovakine, which is monthly 20 bucks or one-time payment of 40 you get all of those things, plus you can create slots. Oh, they have a casino mod. I'll talk about that shortly. Uh, create blackjack, um, experience buff, uh, activities, uh, cooldown improved, can disguise as other players, um, pre-made spawn mansion that you can get. Uh, World Guard region, mob bounty multiplier, can create display shops, uh, so you can get little floating items around there. Bunch more daily experience, a uh, bunch more uh, MCMMO passives, um, bunch of money, that's kind of weird. Um, One-time payment bonus, you get a pre-made villa, uh, and you get access to the chest below, which seems to be containing... A bunch of diamond items that are all enchanted to level 50. Oh, you're, you're doing the same thing I am. Just staring in there. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of diamond items there and a... Um, a oh, what do you call that? I know, I, I know it's supposed to be called. What are you? The uh, dowsing rod thing. I forget what it's called at the moment. And then um, the the standard armor to start you off um, from industrial craft. So oh, quantum. No, no, that that's that's the uh, nano armor. And then quantum is the rich king one-time payment. Hello. Oh, thank you for complimenting me on the nice skin. Yours looks awesome, too. Okay, so Rich King, monthly $50, one-time payment of 64 You get all the rest of the stuff. You can broadcast to everybody. You slash back for when you die. Unlimited homes. A bunch more MCMMO. A mob disguise protection, so you can probably see everybody um, around you who have that. Um, Pre-made huge modern town that you get to start with. 100 by 100 World Guard region. Rich King plot in the market. Creative mode. Private world. Oh, you get your own private world. Wow. Uh, tree capitator, so you can fell trees in one swoop. Uh, items don't drop on your death. You can create nations. $500,000, which is massive, basically. That's almost economy breaking, but not quite. I mean, it is a limited amount, so it's not quite that much. Um, a hug from Malice, which... They're saying is the best reward of all. Um, schematic for importing and exporting. Uh, reduced uh, LWC prices. And import, export CC programs. Very nice. Oh, okay, so you can get uh, schematics for buildings and that type of stuff. And what's in this one? Okay, so you get a... Uh, ooh. Condenser. Uh, you get the quantum suit. You get a few more alchemical bags of different colors, uh, which you will never drop. And what else do you get? Anything else fancy in there? Oh, and a swift wolf's ring. That's nice. I like the swift wolves. Very nice. Then you can teleport to your own world that's... Otherwise, uh, do not use slash spawn in that world. Otherwise, you will break it. Um, and then, oh, you can get your daily experience right there. It's 
somebody that. I'm doing a server tour video. This is the uh, first server I've been on. I, I mean, I'm only on it for a very brief amount. Um, so I, I'm really not on uh, that much, but I do like the fact that there's piles of people right by spawn here already willing to greet me and do all of that. Um, so LWC commands. Uh, by default, it will attempt to protect a number of blocks, which includes doors, chests, rails, machines, much more. Cost per protection is $1,000 per item. The price is refundable by doing C remove by clicking the item to protect an item that does not use that use slash C private. Uh, to add other people to the protection, you use modify. Okay, so you actually have to pay for everything that you protect on this. Server ban list, equivalent exchange, uh, but they actually have a little thing there where you can purchase the items. So most of the items are in fact available, but it is banned for making it from here. Um, so it's actually something that you go and aren't necessarily going to be doing all the time, it's going to be something more end game that you build up resources and eventually get all the equivalent exchange things rather than using it to make everything extremely easy. As you saw, you can purchase a bunch of the things, so they're still in the world. Um, but those give you wonderful head starts as well as a bunch of access to fun commands such as disguising as a creeper and sneaking up on one of your friends. That, sa that sounds hilarious. I have never done something like that. I haven't paid the money to do something like that, but that just sounds hilarious. Yeah, just. Hi, welcome to the server. And that, that, it, it's fun, I'm sure. Okay, you might scare people off the server if you do specifically that, but if you know the people, I mean, and you talk to them for a while, while teleport to them, and then uh, just be a creeper, and that, that'd be entertaining. Um, so mining, sir, uh, mining turtles are way too cheap. Uh, I can understand that. They dig out areas like quarries, but have a lot of problems. World anchors are always a problem, uh, and the uh, Belkin's weapon mod is always a problem. Uh, it's a pretty standard bans, uh, and the equivalent exchange is not really banned. Uh, party commands, so you can create parties, uh, have in-game chat for parties, get groups going. They seem very focused on parties and townships around here. Um, hmm. Okay. Oh, hey! Look at all these things hanging out here. Bunch of different little town things. Very, like, semi-medieval feel. Cool. Um, so yeah, for the most part, very nice open server. Um, mature people. Uh, they do allow raiding and PvP. Um, but for the most part... They don't tend to do it all that much at the moment, because a lot of the time, if you have any of the major people, they won't actually be dropping things. Very cool looking out here. Very, very cool looking. Awesome buildings. So, yeah, uh, very cool server. They're basically trying to make a very stable economy. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, okay, that's where I was up there. And then I got teleported right below it. So then there's purchases, all of that type of stuff. I, I assume you can go up into those towers there. Let me see if I have warps. Okay, so warp. That's conveniently timed. Warp MP. Okay. Two malice. Updated stores to accept stacks. Oh, that's handy. Sell industrial credits. One for a thousand. Okay, so uh, industrial credits are a good way to earn that. So you probably can make industrial credits, I'm going to assume, uh, as well as doing that ladder. Selling shop. Okay, so up above is that. And maybe outside is the rest of the stuff? I don't know. Let's go up to the selling shop. Okay. So you can sell dirt for five, sand for five, okay, 
So pretty good prices on these. And then a diamond one for 400, uh, ruby one for 300, 300, 300, 300. Uh, ingots, oh, 100 each. Okay, even gold is 100. That's handy. I do like the fact that since this is not an equivalent exchange server, really, then the uh, gold is much cheaper because it's really not that useful when compared to the other ones. Um, ooh, marble and basalt as well. Is there anything else up further? Just keep climbing this tower. Ah, there we are. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to say prices on these things. I think they're still working out what prices they want to have on things like uh, alchemical chests and swivel rings and dark matter stuff. They're, they're, they're still working out the details, but that can be a little bit fun. I think they are, at least. Uh, it seems like they're updating the server and upgrading different things and making sure the economy's balanced. So if you actually want to do a lot of trading, this seems like a cool server to do it at. Ooh. Okay, this is an area for everybody to be building their own shops, and I'm sure there's going to be visual guidelines and that type of stuff going on. So if you want to, if you basically want to be a merchant, this would be a perfect server. Okay, welcome to the marketplace. You'll need a few things before you can own your very own shop. You'll need a town of your own, purchased through Towny. Cost twenty five thousand uh, dollars to purchase in game dollars, not real dollars, to purchase any of the non donator plots. There is a $5,000 upkeep per day charged at noon Eastern Standard Time. So uh, this server is probably running on Eastern Standard Time. Uh, to set up a shop, uh, chess shop, follow the format. Name, amount, buy, sell, item ID. Um, player name that will run the shop, amount of the item that will be bought or sold, price uh, that players will pay or be paid for that item, the item name or ID for the item traded, uh, please check the chest beside the monitor to see what a finished chest shop will look like. Money will automatically be added or subtracted from your account as things are purchased or sold to your chest shops. Okay. So example one. So you get one um, buy, sell. So if I want to buy it, it costs a thousand. If I want to sell it, it costs sixty six seventy five. And same for that one. Okay. Makes sense. And big blank screen, not many people here. So it seems like there's plenty of little spaces to uh, start your own shops and get everything organized. I don't think all of my uh, things are loading properly. Let's go over this way. Wow. Wow is this expansive. They set, they've set up a good long amount of space here to uh, to have everybody going. So yeah, no PvP in these areas. Uh, seems like an amazing location. Can I can I list more warps? Let's go and see slash warp, donator, help, MP, rules, spawn, staff, vote. Let's go to slash warp help. Ooh. Okay, so it's back on this side. Oh, there's a little ladder up here. Where does this go? There are plenty of cool places to explore up here. Oh, the administration. That's cool. So they have their own little area up there to uh, mention. Always like the fact that they appreciate people and will uh, showcase them around here. Uh, LWC commands, server ban list, and... The other stuff. Uh, it also seems by the chat logs that they are all helping each other find piles and piles of things. Okay, so what's over this way? To the wild. Be safe in your travels. Okay. This is a very cool, weird-looking building. I always like creative-looking buildings. There's way too many that are all exactly the same. Very cool. Whoa! Is there an enchanting table in the middle of this? Here, enchanting table, enchanting table. There is. Aha! Okay, I don't have 43 levels to spend on a sword, but, uh, yeah, um... 
So, yeah, you can access the crazy enchanting table there. I don't really uh, suggest doing it randomly because I almost fell to my death horribly there. Um, I'm sure there's other places that you can explore around here. Now, please stay away. Trade thing being annoying. But yeah, for the most part, they're doing a lot of the uh, stable economy, those types of things. Wow. Okay, can't really see a lot of the world out of there. But yeah, so uh, they take you a decent way away from spawn, seemingly. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there's one of these in every direction, or if this is the only one. If there is one in every direction, then that probably brings you a decent way out. I mean, I get a bunch of food uh, to spread out from spawn. It doesn't seem like anybody's really all that nearby. I do like the fact that on top of that cliff is then the snow biome. It's a really cool uh, kind of just randomized area that's out here, seemingly. I think it's a randomized area, at least. It's very, very cool. And there's a, another really cool tree over there. Almost looks like two trees grown on top of each other. Ooh, people are already chopping things down over here. That's always cool. And then you see on the other side of that desert there, and there's some sheep sitting in the middle of the de desert. Desert sheep. Um, but yeah, you see people already starting to build out here. So I'm just going to take a look back over in this way. Um, check a little bit more. So yeah, um, they basically have, uh, equivalent exchange items, uh, like that. Uh, they also have a, uh, advanced townie, apparently. Um, and a bunch of different details on that. They're working on a PvP arena uh, that you can face off with other people, as well as uh, killing off um, creepers and that type of stuff will sometimes reward you with money. Uh, I believe they have MCMMO here. Wilderness, beware and good luck. Ooh, that's foreboding. I feel like I'm not going to be exploded by a creeper any time now. Which is probably more true than false. Um... I do like these trees. I think they're just the normal rubber trees or whatever, but they just look really cool here. Um, so yeah, uh, so they have uh, LWC protection that allows anything to be locked that uh, is from vanilla. Um, Non-vanilla things not being locked. Pretty standard. Um, they also have casinos. So if you want to uh, gamble, if you want to have fun that way uh, and open up even your own casinos, maybe with refreshments and some crazy uh, contraptions that you've built yourself in your own towns, um, go for it. I'm going to die out here. I'm going to die out here. Ooh, these are weird. Some very cool trees around here. Uh, I... I I'm going to be dying horribly this entire time. So, uh, yep, yep. The horrible dying is commencing. Look away. I don't want to be dead. I don't want to be dead. Oh, then I died. Something behind me. So, uh, yeah, I lost all my stuff. That's not really surprising. I only lost a dollar for dying, though, so that's not really... Too big of a deal. If you die from PvP in PvP enabled areas, then yeah, you will actually uh, you will end up uh, taking more dollars, but you also can earn more dollars from killing other people. So there there is some benefit to that. For the most part, there doesn't seem to be much um, active wild stuff. There is, uh, as you saw, uh, some of the other normal stuff. Take a look at this building. Um, but yeah, very cool server if you want to set up on your own. Um, make a small township, uh, organize with some other people, and uh, if you want to be dedicated to a place for a while. I do not recommend this if you just want a little short-term visit. If you want a long-term visit and go and uh, stay in one location for a while, 
then Proventure Time could be a very cool server to stick around with. As you see, they're basically here for the long term. Uh, you can get a lot of one-time payments and get the server up and running and organized. Uh, it can be an awesome place to be. Um, but if you're just looking for a little place to pop in that you want to do a bunch of equivalent exchange and start flying around with the Swift Wolves within 48 hours of starting on the server, pick a different server. Uh, they're more focused on actually having a great economy where you're actually going to be a uh, trader or person marketing. So definitely check the server out if you're into those kinds of things. Uh, again, this is Bro Venture Time, Topaz from Voice to the Void. Uh, if you have any other servers that you want me to check out or you want to uh, have me look at any specific creations in this server or another server, please leave a comment below or send me a message. I am willing and receptive to record just about anything on these Tekkit servers. Uh, or vanilla servers, as long as the uh, modding isn't too complicated. I'm pretty good with that, but uh, definitely send me any comments or questions uh, below. And now it's raining. So, now that the weather is uh, becoming less positive, I'm going to go and see you next time. Mm -hmm.